Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Joe with Joe No Cigars. And as you can see from the lack of coat, scarf, and earmuffs that I do not have with me, it must be feeling really good outside. Thus, I am very much looking forward to doing this review more than I have in a while. And tonight, I'm going to be introducing a new brand to the channel. From Nat Sherman, we have an installment called the Ipaca. This is a 6x50 ring gauge Toro with a combination of Dominican and Nicaraguan long filler, Dominican binder, and a very nice looking, beautifully colored uh, Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper. Uh, it's got a very nice even pack, firmly packed with a very nice looking triple cap on the top. A simple yet very elegant sort of ladle that they put on this, sit, on this stick. And uh, this is a more mild offering. Um, I don't do a whole lot of mild offerings as of yet on the channel, but I'm trying to get more into those because not everybody goes for the darker Connecticut Broadleaf or Maduro wrappers like I do, and there's nothing wrong with the milder offerings. This is marketed as a mild to medium, so let's go ahead and get this cut up, light it up, and let's see if we can find it. right off the first light. Lots of naturally sweet tobacco. Very creamy. Very mild at this point. Uh, this is marked as a mild to medium like I said earlier. Could always pick up as we get further along but right now that's all I'm picking up at this point. Some sweet vanilla now. And just a hint of nuttiness at this point. Starting off very nice. And we'll see how it goes as we get further in after we let this one go a little bit further. We'll see you then. About 10 minutes in. Had to move a little bit further away from the edge of my overhang because wouldn't you know, the wind and the rain just started to creep in after I started. Man. Anyway. I'd like to comment on the draw and the burn of this cigar. The draw is about as perfect as they come, and the burn is just about as perfect as they come too. Um, still pretty early on, but initial impression is that it's performing very, very well in the draw and the combustion department. Really nice flavors, still a nice uh, vanilla and a little bit of nuttiness coming through. Um, you know, the aroma was very earthy, but I'm not really getting any earth flavors at all which is fine because I kind of prefer the nutty and vanilla to earthy flavors anyway. We'll let this one go a little bit further, catch up with you as we get into the second third, we will see you then. Well, I'm now getting rained on. <laughs> Never ends. Weather is throwing me curveballs every which way I go. We're just going to do this old school, have to pick up the tripod, stand in the middle of my uh, gazebo and hope that I don't get soaked. About uh, 20 minutes in, starting into the second third here, smoke output is great, um, the draw and burn are still perfect, and uh, the flavors uh, have just picked up a new dimension. They've got kind of a light roast coffee going in now, not so much nuttiness, a subtle white pepper spice on the finish. Uh, beyond that, everything else is more or less the same. Um, it's pretty gentle through the retro hill. With a nice woody characteristics coming through on the retro hill as well. Alright, go a little bit further in, see what we can find out as we get into the end of the second third. See you then. About 30 minutes in, just reached the halfway point on this cigar. Wanted to touch a little bit about the aroma. It's got this nice almond wood sort of aroma, which has been really pleasant to enjoy. And a lot of creamy notes are starting to come in too. A lot of creamy overtones over all the existing flavors that I mentioned earlier in the video. I am pairing it with just a pretty standard St. Remy's brandy. And uh, lately I've been discovering how nice brandy and cognacs go with cigars particularly the milder ones. Um, I like a little bit more robust sort of pairing, such as a bourbon or a scotch if I'm going to a medium or medium full or full cigar. 
but this brandy or cognac goes really nicely with these medium and mild and mild to medium sort of sticks. So on the little lighter spectrum of the flavor and body department, this goes very well. Anyway, as we get into the final third, I will cut back with you. I will see you then. About 45 minutes in, just starting to get into the final third here. Really, really nice vanilla bean notes sort of to coming through now. Still very creamy. It's not an oily smoke, but it's not dry or airy. And the smoke texture is almost what I would call chewy, but it's not a it's not a slick or a, a buttery texture. But it's got sort of these creamy flavors. It's an interesting dynamic. Um, it's hard for me to describe, but it doesn't have oiliness, but it's got creaminess and really nice, balanced, complex flavors that smell great off the foot of the cigar, and they taste great on the palate. They've got a nice, clean finish, and it really is, and it's, it's, a, it's a joy to draw on, and not only because of the flavors, but the, the smoke output and the draw are so effortless and, and relaxed and beautiful. I, I love puffing on this thing. Really am impressed with this one by Nat Sherman. I think I'm ready to give a moment of truth and a rating. On the Jono scale, I give this four and a quarter puffs. This one really is a great performer. The burn is razor sharp. The ash is nice and solid. It falls off after about one and a half to two inches each time. And boy, I mean, you really can't beat the flavors for a mild cigar. Most mild cigars tend to be a little boring for my taste. I like a little bit more robust sort of flavor dynamic going on. But these are just so nice that you can't really ignore them. They keep you interested from the start all the way to the finish, and it's just physically beautiful to look at and wonderful to draw on. Thank you very much for joining me on this nice feeling but rather wet evening in April. As always, please like and subscribe. Tell your friends, your family, and your mom all about Jono's Cigars. And until next time, everybody, smoke a good one.